letterbox. I don't or the PSP video the A V port is letterboxed all the pieces for some reason. That's right, because should Cho Penguin act they all actually have voices in this one, don't they? Yes. I remember Cho Penguin sounding like a retard. Oh, his voice is so bad. Oh. It is. I don't believe I heard this. It, it, it's just, it's just, it's good stuff. Did you, did you, were you there? You weren't there for that stream, were you? What, which one? That oh, was a week we're... you were absent on in retrospection. Um, Actually, it was an IR gamer. We were just, I was messing around with a bunch of Mega Man games. I think. If I remember correctly. Because I think I definitely would have remembered that. Well, it, it wasn't this game, it was the original Mega Man. It was the PSP version, powered up. Yeah, yeah. With, um... <laughs> uh, Iceman and farts. Yeah. <laughs> what is it My with the snow character? I am the researcher who designed and built Mega Man X. Someone, someone was absent. Mega Man. I think it was just you, me, and Grain. I don't awesome. even, I don't think Tom was there either. Okay, so I suppose I should just do a new game then. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do a new game. Huh. I only have a couple bosses left on mine. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they never beat it, so... By all means. Okay, so um, I was trying to collect all the parts, um, but I guess I should go for Cockroach here and get his Boomerang. Boomerang Kawanger. Isn't the original X, isn't it Boomer Kawanger? Yeah. That's right, X actually sounds like a man in this version. It's unbelievable. You mean like actually what he's supposed to sound like? Yeah, he actually sounds like a mega man instead of a mega bitch. Cause you know, that's what he sounds like in 8, X4. <laughs> he sounds like a freaking woman. There he is. Unlike in Mega Man, um... Yeah. X eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another thing that just flat out bothered me about seven and eight was Axel. Like he's such a dumb character. He wasn't as bad in eight, but seven yeah. Hey, like, they just threw him in. Like, I don't even see the point. That yeah, I'm not sure why he was in the like, why they decided to make him. I, mean, he, I do like his power, and that was interesting and all. Um, but I think they definitely, if, if they're gonna have him in there, they could have done more with him or done done him a little better. Okay, so on Mega Man X, the helmet part, what does that do for you? It lets you break, uh, there's certain blocks you can only break by basically jumping below them. Okay, that, that's what I thought. I, was, I wasn't sure if they, that was something they added in Maverick Hunter, because I didn't seem to remember that many blocks that required your head. It's actually not just below them because if you there's one part where it climbs upwards and uh which stage is it? Flame Mammoth stage? There's a bunch of bricks to break and as long as you have the helmet you can do it. So now in Chill Penguin, at least on this one, there's a section where you have to use the dash boots to actually wall kick the, the blocks to break them. Really? Yeah. I 
they can change shit around in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, they they change so much. It's barely even the same game. It's still a good game. Oh, not, definitely. Not quite the same game. I do kind of like playing this on the PSP because I can remap the buttons. Yeah. So I have the dash mapped to the shoulder button. Huh. Makes it much easier. Because then I can fire, dash, and jump all at the same time. Right. That was easier than last time. If you've made it all the way up here, you must not be an ordinary B-class hunter. Kuanger, I don't want to fight an old Kuanger. friend like you. You don't want That's to weird, fight? Dude. Well, isn't this interesting? You're a maverick hunter and Maverick Hunters are Reploids designed for fighting. So I'll have to fight you no matter what, huh? Of course. A chance for a fight this fun doesn't come along every day. Let's oh. get this party started. <laughs> <laughs> Talking some trash now. Stupid boomerang. Homing torpedo! That that's one sort of annoying thing, because he has to say the name of each weapon and when he uses it. Man, that boomerang can get you anywhere. X! Use your homing torpedo! <laughs> homing torpedo! X, yeah, cause you have to say it because so the enemy knows what's coming. It's like Pokemon! <laughs> X, use your homing torpedo! Uh, homing torpedo! <laughs> it's like, oh, he's, I did not see that coming! It's, it's, they do that in the Mega Man Battle Network, at least on the TV shows. Yeah, it, it's basically like cool. Pokemon. Whenever they put in the battle card, there's a big animation. Energy sword! Slam! And they jams the cartridge into the PDA thingy, and then Mega Man gets the energy sword. And, it's ridiculous. I'll see if you're operating up to spec. <laughs> hey, guess what's coming next? Homing torpedo! You'll never guess the tank that's coming right now. Homing torpedo! Alright, X, hit him with another homing torpedo! <laughs> hit him with a homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! Oh my god, I didn't see that one coming! It's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> like, clearly you must have three other moves. <laughs> X, use the homing torpedo! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Oh, oh no! Ah, dang it. Oh, did you run out? Is that what happened? Yes. Oh. 
I wish I could remember what it was on Mega Man Network, on Battle Network, on the TV shows, what they always said when... Because it was always like, Mega Man, jack in, execute, or something like that. And I can't, what was it they said when they were putting in the battle cards? It was ridiculous. You can see why I never got into Battle Network. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bad. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stop laughing. <laughs> it is pretty funny. It's not very effective, stop using it. <laughs> Alright, we get it. You can use that. The nice thing about the homing torpedo is they go through the floor, apparently. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Guess what move I'm gonna do next? <laughs> he has to do that for every weapon. How many torpedoes does he have? A lot. Where does he store them, exactly? Oh, yeah, it's one of those unexplainable video game things. Yep. <laughs> His buster gun is able to create matter. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> you see, here, here's the explanation for all of it. it. It's the reason, you know, Duke Nukem can carry like 10 guns at a time, or, you know, you can carry like two assault rifles and a whole bunch of equipment. Like, it, the answer for any game is every character just comes naturally equipped with a bag of holding. <laughs> uh, exactly. Okay, so... Hmm. So I'm gonna take a call here. There was that heart Hello? container. What you need help with? Getting mission! Boomerang cutter! Uh, I wish I did. I really we also had, um... Actually, I, I don't know if Dan ever booted it up, but Josh also had uh, booted up for a little bit as well. He didn't have that problem. Booted up what? Probably across Mega Man. Ah, uh, I see. I have heard people having trouble with it crashing while, when you exit it. Yeah, I haven't tried using it yet. I'll do that same thing. I just had trouble with it messing with all my Windows themes and screwing so that all up. Needless to say, I have a few people on the timeline right now. talking about the game, one way or another, I haven't heard that at all. Really strange. I don't even think there's a way to adjust the sound either, because uh, I tried to do that. Where'd you download from? Your Capcom site? Oh, is that what Dan was doing? Um, you might want to... I don't know if this is going to fix anything, because apparently you can't, you know, mess with the sound anyway. But, try downloading it from... You're going to have to go back a bit. You go to my tweets. You'll find a retweet uh, made from uh, DJ Cutman. And he has a post that leads to a link that's not Capcom's thing. And maybe if you download it from there instead, it'll change something. I, like, I don't know if that'll even work. Needless to say, I haven't heard this problem from anybody. <laughs> Who are we talking to? Considering you can't change the. Uh, didn't 
hope you can get that fixed though, unfortunately I don't really think I can help you. There's always the uh, Capcom Unity forums, so you must say if I see anything left. Jeremy was trying to get the game for himself, and uh, apparently has a sound. Oh, that's nice. Came back to the heart tank. Yep. So there's the heart tank here, and then there's one... Where's the other one that you need? Spark Mandrel? Yeah. You gotta use your boomerang cutter! Boomerang <laughs> 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 uh, oh cutter! Boomerang cutter! Huh. I guess they changed the arc too. Yeah, I'm that much of a loser. I usually stand a little more to the left. Mm. I get it. I'm the that, that, that's how you know I'm bad. <laughs> oh wow, those look a lot cooler. You gotta go down there, down. Down there too. Oh. Okay. The other way I'll take you the usual way. I forgot how much cooler this stage looks in the PS4. Like the sparks are fucking there. That's where it is. So you just want to jump? Can't do it like that. You got to, yeah. Oh, that was an inner. That was a sub tank. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I don't think there were any other upgrades here. Uh, Spark, Spark Mandrel? No. Oh, actually, did you get the heart tank in this stage? Um, that I am not sure. Where is it? So I don't think they moved the. You're gonna have to go past the mini boss for that. Don't go this way, it's not gonna lead you to anything. Uh, go back the normal way. This makes me want a PSP again. That is awesome. <laughs> My favorite gaming handheld now. Next to I, I mean, I had I had to play these games just to you know, because they're Mega Man games. I mean, they're remakes, but I wanted to see what they did to them. And this one in particular, like people love it. Not to say Power Up wasn't good, but people swear by this one. Yeah, I wasn't sure of it at first because of the sort of the, the chunky Mega Man, you know, it wasn't as neat and mean looking as the the SNES one. But I got to like it a lot. Mega Man, use your shotgun ice! Wow, that thing dies quick. Yeah, there's, 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 there's some stuff where I swear they made it easier than the first, than the SNES one, and other stuff where that seems harder. That's way easier for sure. <laughs> Especially with that weapon. enjoy watching somebody else that can actually play Mega Man play Mega Man. So you're saying you wouldn't want to watch me? <laughs> well, don't get me wrong, that's hilarious. But, what I'm saying is, you know, when you, when you actually make it somewhere, it's interesting to see how other people play in comparison to how you play. Like, that's what I was enjoying on the Capcom streams, and I missed them all because I actually mentioned them. I missed them all because I was working on the time and I always, I never caught him. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah, you gotta, um... Well, they let you... Oh, shit! <laughs> None of that don't work. I'm sorry. I didn't realize they did that. That is much further out than it's supposed to be. There. Oh, and apparently you can do that. All right, never mind then. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't get any other parts that would make that any easier. They changed that. Like, that that thing is much, like, it's not as far out, and you can just dash jump off the wall. And a lucky one will get you on the platform and you just climb up and do it. Now, apparently, you do it like that. Interesting. And Laos thing chameleon looks retarded. <laughs> He looks like a freaking doll or something. The worst part about this game is the frame rate. Yeah. It, there is a lot of slowdown. I already got... Up there is the arm parts. Go down, what are you doing? What? Go down. Down where? There. Oh. I thought that was a pit. What's down here? Oh, okay, it is still there, I was gonna say. Uh, the, this is what you use the leg parts to break open. So how, where do I jump now? All right, what you're going to want to do, unlike what I did the first time, is actually dash and jump off of that. Off of this little platform here? Yeah, dash and jump off of it, like off of the edge, so you can get to... Oh. Get and then hope you can do it back. There you go. Now, you're still not going to proceed and go to the top. Climb up that wall there. Go back. Oh, over here? Over there? Yeah, go up there. Oh, yeah, I already beat the boss up here. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's where I got the... Actually, this... Actually, no, I restarted it. Um, this is where you get the arm parts. Oh, that's interesting, because I thought that's where you get the armor. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's, where you get the... that's where you get the arm parts. But apparently, oh. if you skip the arm parts, you get Zero's Buster at the end of the game. Yeah, that, that, that's the whole thing with that one. Like, you get it no matter what. Like, you can get it early, or you get it automatically at that part anyway, which is technically spoilers, but whatever. Well, see, yeah, that, I thought then they said in the Maverick Hunter one that you get that Zero's Buster is more powerful. Well, I mean, it is. You can you have a, uh, a third option for a charge shot. Like you can charge your shot further. Wait, why does Bang has to have to be my default search engine? Ah, uh, stupid Facebook, leave me alone. All that shit. Buster capsule, sting chameleon stage after climbing the cliff to the beginning of the level, dash upgrade is needed to destroy the green robot. Where how to talk to words? You're talking about zero. Okay, how to gain zero's buster? If you pass over the X buster upgrade in the Doctor Light capsule in the game, you'll be rewarded later in the Signal's Fortress by gaining access to zero's buster, which is more powerful than the normal X buster upgrade. Do this. So it's done the FAQ for this game. Yeah, for the huh. Maverick Hunter X. Game fact: It says the, to skip over the X part upgrade for the Buster and get the. So you face Vile and defeat him in battle, and then you'll speak to Zero, and he will give you his Buster. The Buster shoots a different third level charge shot than Doctor Light's upgrade, which is larger and more powerful. All right, both should do that. That's really weird. Let's see if it says the same thing about Mega Man X. Or, you have the arm parts to right now, don't you? No. 
Oh, you don't. Okay. I went and beat the, that thing once, and then when I read that, I reloaded the game. Is it possible to save and reload? Um. Like, do you have a what? what how are you playing this right now? PSP. Oh, I, I guess you probably should check them. I don't know. Like, like when I. I've tried that in the regular X, and it's the same shit. Like your your third charge, it shows you pink. And yeah, I saw I saw that when I got it. It does the pink sort of spirally blast. Exactly, and regardless of which option you take, you get that. But I guess maybe they changed it with the PSP version. I have no idea. Let's see. Mega Man X Zero Buster versus X Buster Upgrade. Let's see what the wikis say. Okay, for Mega Man X, the wiki says, In the Sigma Stage 1 Defeat Violin, Zero will give you the upgrade if you didn't already get it in Flame Mammoth Stage. The special thing about this upgrade is not only do you gain a third charge level for the Mega Buster, but you can also charge up your other weapons. For example, Chameleon's Sting Charge Attack turns Mega Man invincible for several seconds. Okay, now does it say that on regular X, or...? This is regular X. This, it this... says that on regular X. Yeah, this is the strategy wiki for regular X. I think they're full of shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you get... So when you when you get the arm part, you can... Uh... When you get the arm part, you, you get the charge um, capability for all the sub-weapons. That's supposed to be, you see, that, that that's the thing, but, you know, I actually can't confirm or deny that because I actually don't use that third charge with any of the weapons until after that part hmm. where you would get it from zero anyway. Because what I do is I use the full charge of Chameleon because it makes you invincible. Because right after you beat Vile, you know, like actually beat him in this game. There's a part where you have to climb the walls like crazy, and there's a whole bunch of shit going on. Uh-huh. So I just charge up Stink Chameleon and friggin' use my invincibility. Oh, ac no, actually, I remember seeing a walkthrough or something for the last boss, except they used Armadillo's charge shot. And that encases you in a ball? Yeah. Well, no, I, this is just after you fight Vile, not for the final boss. This was that, um, like, shaft that leads up to, um, Sigma. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's how you farm right before him. With the thing that you're talking about. Yeah. So far, everyone's saying that Zero's Buster hurts more. The shield just takes down the uh, worms that come out of the little holes, and you can farm shit right before you go all the way up to Sigma. Mm-hmm. I also I actually use it to, def to defeat Sigma too. Oh, there you go. Because Rolling Shield is good on the last form. Well, actually, the first form isn't even Sigma. It's a stupid dog. Oh yeah, the t what's his name? Um, I don't know that he has a name. Oddly enough, he looks kind of like Treble. Okay, everyone's saying that in Maverick Hunter X, that Zero's Buster is way more powerful than Dr. Light's. Hey man, they, they, they might be right. It could be different with this game. They've changed a lot of stuff. <laughs> 
so we'll but skip that for with, now. With the roll, I don't know. I think they're full of crap. But again, I can't really confirm or deny it because I don't end up using the third charge shot until like past the point where you get zero buster anyway. Oh, that's right. I can't. I, rocks can hit me in the head now. Killing the woodpeckers. Right, this is a quick mud. That sinks faster. Oh, it's gonna die. It's gonna blow. What? No? I thought it was flashing all that time because it was gonna blow up. Apparently not. It was flashing for a while. That's usually what happens before he dies. That's weird. Eh, okay, so what's good with Sting? Um. Cutter! <laughs> oh, what's his voice like? Oh boy. Poor little Alex. Everyone's oh. betraying you. Sting Chameleon. So Sigma's even managed to pull you into his scheme. That's Master Sigma to you, X. He'll be king when the new world is born. Treat him with respect. I don't want to live in a world with him in charge. I think he's as bad as Chill Penguin. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, really? <laughs> wow, really, dude? Worse, the fact that he says his attacks are that. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I don't know, that guy gets much worse than that. <laughs> that may just be me, though. Oh, okay. You got a new weapon! The ability to go. <laughs> felt so bad for making him sound like a girl in all these games <laughs> that they were like, you know what? We're gonna show you guys that Mega Man can actually be a man, so he's gonna <laughs> say all of his attacks since we actually made him a man. Well, that's how you know he's a man. You gotta say what he's going to do before he does that. Exactly. Okay, apparently there's some more... Potentially, that's my theory. <laughs> there's some more heart tanks here. Did you go back to Chill Penguin? Um, oh, no, I have not gone to Chill Penguin to get the... Because right after you uh, go with the ride armor, 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That section on top that you can only access with the flamethrower. I'm beginning the mission. That doesn't look right. Huh? Oh. In the background. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it's, it's the background too. It serves no points. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's not there in the Super Nintendo version. <laughs> they clearly did that on purpose. Uh, <laughs> see if anyone will notice. Somebody quick, go check. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that's foreshadowing for what they would end up doing to the franchise later. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh burn. <laughs> Where's the rim shot? Where is it? Uh, I thought you opened that thing. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, here we go. Wait, wait. I swear I saw Dan access his, uh... Yeah, that. <laughs> were you, you were able to hear it? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. I saw when you activated it in here. Oh. Alright, so next time you do one, I'll be ready. But, I can't say things like that anymore because they're coming back, hopefully. Hopefully. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be hooked on this thing. <laughs> Even though there's only 12 sounds here. But I'll make it. We just, we need, we need some good Mega Man X games. They, he's, they've been kind of neglecting X. Yeah, I mean... They would... Both series would literally be in the same spot if it wasn't for that one company that decided to, uh, put out 9 and 10. <clears throat> and, uh, it creates or whatever, you know, Capcom just published it. But the developers were some other company. I, I believe the same company that made the X series, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, because In Intercreates made the um, uh, ZX games, which were... Oh, they made those too? Yeah, I, I just oh. remember that. There you go, then. They, they, they were actually kind of awesome games. That's, I, that's one of the things I was, I was debating on keeping my 3DS for, is to get those games, but I can play them in an emulator and they actually look better than they do on the DS, so... <laughs> I, I thought about getting ZX, but I was like, I don't know. ZX, well, ZX Advent is the better one because of all of the um, <clears throat> different weapon upgrades and forms you can sort of mix and match around. That's the second one, right? Yes. The yeah. first one was okay. Um, it mainly suffered from a convoluted... Um, map and questing system that was very because it's very Metroidvania both of them are and it's really hard to keep track of where you are or where you're going in the first one so I think that's all we needed here Where else would you need to go back to? Launch Octopus. Sink the whale battleship and crash through the shutter. Oh, I, I showed that part before my computer told me to go fuck myself. Um, I, I don't remember that one. You gotta pass the two suck and blow ships and oh, it's not too long after that. Those. But yeah, I mean, if, if NT Creates didn't come around, then both series would be in the same place at 8. Not including spin-offs, of course. Mega Man Battle Network doesn't count. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
That being said, Battle Network isn't a spin-off, it's just another Mega Man series. A sequel, if you will. You got you got classic, you got X, you got Zero Battle Network, you have Legends. I will uh, there is actually a chronology to all of it. Oh, is there now? I think it goes Classic, X, Zero, ZX, and then I think um, Battle Network. Um, and then after Battle Network, I think then it goes to Legends. So it was in order, but they had the fun. Yeah, because like... I feel like Zelda. Kinda, yeah. I say kinda though because that timeline is all sorts of fucked up. Yep. They're not even, they're not even trying with that. Yeah, they're going all over the place. But yeah, the Legends is supposed to take place like millions and millions of years in the future. Yeah, that makes sense. And the Battle Network is sort of the same way in relation to the traditional Mega Man. <clears throat> so there's actually some some familiarish characters in the Battle Network. So I think, yeah, Base is actually in. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait for that thing there. See that? Go, 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 on, the, go on the wind thing there? Yeah. What do I do with it? Go to it and keep jumping off of it. Oh. That's where you want to go. That ship there, and there's going to be a, a blue bubble thing. That thing on top of the eye. It looks like an eye, that. There's, there's other stuff that's going to happen, so you might die here. But you need to kill that. And it crashes into the thing you saw below. Oh. And it'll take you where you need to go. Ah, dang it. Oh, it was red, too. It doesn't change colors in the original. <laughs> oh, I gotta fight him again. <laughs> no! Stupid blowfish. <clears throat> Oh god. <laughs> and it's back. <laughs> Apparently submarine learned tackle attack in this game. <laughs> you just go through all of those and it didn't kill them? Yep. What a waste. Oh, there. Now he's dead. Damn. Comic Torpedo! A full health canister down in the water. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, so this is where the frame rate starts to suffer. Holy torpedo! <laughs> <laughs> Still works, you know. I'm, I'm really. What? What hit me? What? No. 
Homing torpedo. <laughs> hey, guess what I'm gonna do? Ah. <laughs> Homing oh, torpedo. Shit. Homing torpedo. Oh, and now I gotta do it all over again. I feel like I just did that. <laughs> Homing torpedo. Homing torpedo. <gasps> Uh, okay, um, does anyone else? Flame Mammoth, has one, Launch Octopus, I already got the Spark Mandrill one, I already got the one in Armadillo. Homing Torpedo. I already got the Boomer Kalanger one, so, okay, so I already got all of the heart, all the other heart locations. How about sub tanks? Is there a sub tank I can get? I'm beginning the mission. Oh yeah, after you beat after you beat the you game. <laughs> What? Oh my god. what I miss? He drops in. I'm beginning the mission! <laughs> no shit! <laughs> I'm telling you I do it before I do it. It, it, it is Mega Man X Pokemon edition. <laughs> See, there's no big bat. Oh wait, there is a the big bat. He's just not big anymore. And he just dropped the energy. He, doesn't drop, he just dropped the energy. Tank. And actually, the There's thing that makes that bat so significant is that he's closer to the sprite of uh, the older Mega Man bats as opposed to the newer ones. Oh, yeah. There's the afterlives. Yeah, see, so still works in this game. Yay. Yay, hacks. Yay, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> It's not cheating, it's in the game. Of course. If it's in the game, it's never cheating. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not dropping extra life now. There is next life. I like being able to farm sub tanks. Yeah. Oh, and I think it just told me that they're all full. I'm telling you, that th this is the spot for farming until that one place before Sigma. And honestly, if I were as good as I was years ago, I wouldn't even farm. Because I, one of my challenges was, uh, one of the challenges to myself in this game was going through without uh, energy cans. Or sub tanks, oh. as they're called in this game. Needless to say, I've only done that once. <laughs> because Sigma's last form is a real asshole. <laughs> Definitely. Everything else, no problem. This last form, pain in the ass. That's why I, I, that, I use that hard with sub tanks, but without to not use any, it's ridiculous. Yeah, as I use some um, of the cheat code password things on the SNES one to um, up all of the. Clear all the levels, and get all the weapons and stuff, and <laughs> Sig... no, I never do that. What? <laughs> I never do that. See, I got so I got so frustrated where I would, you know, I beat half the game, but then like the final boss, I can never get past. So, right. 
sometime after that, I was like, I was like, you know, I've almost beat this game. I don't know how many times. I'm just gonna go to the end of the game and see if I can beat it then. I hear that. <laughs> That's essentially what I did with uh, Retro Confession. Um, in Punch Out, I made it all the way up to. What the hell is the guy's name? Super Macho Man, which is the guy right before Mike Tyson. I could never beat him. Like, I would make it there if I'm lucky, and he's always with my ass. But because my family, or my cousin in particular, used to play Punch-Out a lot, the, the Tyson code is, like, drilled into my brain. <laughs> so I knew how to get directly to Tyson. I know he was the only guy left. Needless to say, Tyson is, you know, cheap son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. For, for the first minute and 40 seconds, one shot, hit, one shot kills you. One punch, you're dead. So, and you know, you can get up three times, but that doesn't change the fact that for that first minute and 40 seconds, one punch and you're dead. But I beat him. But I can never honestly say I beat Punch Out because I never actually beat Super Macho Man. So it wasn't until my more recent years that I went back and I'm like, you know what? I need to actually prove to myself that I can beat this entire game. And I finally ended up beating it. See, I think Donkey Kong Country is the are the those three are the only games that I've consistently beat over and over and over. I haven't beat the third one mostly because I don't really have a desire to play it. I think I beat the third one on the Game Boy Advance, which also included a whole new world of insanely challenging levels. Indeed. The first two I beat a bunch of times. The, the third one, I just really haven't had the desire to play through that one. In a way, I kind of like the third one the best from sort of a gameplay level design standpoint. I think the levels were the most creative. It's the fucking Kong you get stuck with. I don't want to play as freaking Kitty Kong. Or <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah, I don't like him. Freaking, you know, you get... As it is, you lose Donkey Kong in the second one, but you get Dixie in exchange, so it's like, oh! I get the faster Kong of the two, and I get Dixie from fucking Glide. This is awesome. And, and then, then the third game, it's all like, oh, well, no Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong. So stick with Dixie, who was thrown in, but it's cool, and here's Kitty Kong. When, and all he can do by himself is skip across water. Yeah. Like, <laughs> who the hell cares? I had no desire to play that game because of that. Uh, and I hear from some people it's actually really good. I just can't get myself to play. Uh, it is really good. Though what's interesting is the Game Boy Advance remake. They completely changed all of the music. Oh yeah? So it is not the original soundtrack in the least. And... Huh. I can't decide which one I like better. Interesting. Because they both have really awesome soundtracks. Somebody recently went back, went back and uh, I don't remember if it was that Donkey Kong in particular, but they remixed uh, something Donkey Kong related. OC, OC Remix just released a mega Donkey Kong Country 3 remix album where they remixed both. Okay, that, yeah, that's the same thing I'm talking about. Yeah, they remixed the original and the Game Boy Advance remake, and they even got the, what's his name, the composer. I'm blanking the on his composer. composer. The guy that did the that did music for the original Donkey Kong games. Badass. Yeah, that's pretty good. Man, I know his name. What is it? The same guy that did Mario? 
No, I don't think so. Um, I think it was David. Was it David Wise? He also did the soundtrack. Yeah, David Wise did all of the soundtracks for the Donkey Kong Country, including the Game Boy Advance remake. Oh, yep, and in 2009 it was announced that Overclock Remix Community was doing... Oh, wow, he worked on the Donkey Kong Country 2 OC Remix album as well. And he also contributed to the Donkey Kong Country 3 Remix album. <laughs> See, I love when these people that put out music way back when, because it was better, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, from way back when, now come around and work on new shit. That's why I really have respect for, you know, what they did with Gianna Sisters. You know, this guy who went ahead and went and did this, this stuff for OC Remix. I mean, it, it's great. Yeah, the instead of... still lives on, and obviously they get older, so it's like, okay, maybe this will be the last thing I work on, and, you know, my music will be remembered for, you know, the... years and years to come. Yeah, and remember with the newer generations as well as the older generations. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, uh, that actually reminded me of uh, a post you made that I don't think I said anything to. The uh, the new Super Mario Brothers soundtracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I liked it in the first new Super Mario Brothers. Everyone after that, I'm starting to... It's grating on my ears. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they use it in... It, it's that same main theme that's been used in all four of the games so far. And it's like they don't change it. No, they don't. And, you know, and to top it off, what also doesn't change, I mean, it was something small to begin with, but I, I, I was able to appreciate it when I first saw it. When they, uh, I don't know how to describe it, when they do the cheering parts of the song. Oh, the da da da. Yeah. And all the little turtles or Goombas do the little dance. Exactly. I thought that was awesome when I saw it in the, in the first new Super Mario yeah. Brothers. Absolutely. Now it's become the worst part of the music. Yeah, it's just like... Come on. Come on. Can you think of nothing else? But I mean, they get away with it, you know? It's like... I don't know, like, it, you think I kind of mentioned it towards the end of, uh, the rant I ended up doing with, uh, Dan, because he, uh, asked me questions about the 25th anniversary of this game. Yeah. And I was like, repetition's good, but you gotta listen to the fans. Like, I mean, Nintendo is just stuck in their way, so I think that's just what it is. But, you know, put something in... Put something different in the damn game. <laughs> <laughs> and I give him some credit. I, I don't remember if it's in New Super Mario Brothers U. I think it is in U, actually. That gives the hardcore a little more something than the past few games. Because it gives you uh, this mode where you can like challenge yourself and do all sorts of different things Mario-related. Like boss rush or completing zones at a certain time and like oh. extra stuff, a reason to play the game more than once. Yeah. I wasn't sure where the spikes were. Oh wow, this part looks really cool in the PSP. It's like I'm seeing this game again, because I really don't remember it. I played through each of these once, and... It was a, it was a brief period of time where I had a PSP and played a certain amount of games that I was interested in. And then third birthday took forever to come out, so I gave up. And I heard about the second Dissidia, and then when I heard you can play the new features, 
plus unlock all the old ones in the new game, I told the PSP to go fuck itself. And uh, Dissidia? Yeah. Yeah, Dissidia, it's cool. But. So, ironically, I have both Dissidia games. I have not played either because I've been playing the pre release game. Pre release? Yeah, there's a pro the Prologus. Like Dissidia Dusumo something Prologus. It was the pre release game before the second Dissidia came out, which is actually the prequel to the first Dissidia. Um, I've been playing that one because you apparently unlock stuff by playing through that. You unlock stuff in the main game. So I haven't even touched the regular games. Okay, so we got the launch octopus. Second main guy. Third one to get to the boat. Jump on the platform on the right and grab it. What? Okay, so there's a sub tank somewhere here too. But yeah, I mean, the thing, the thing with the city was, you know, they came out with that new game, and it's like, oh, a few new characters, oh, this, oh, that. Okay, cool. I might get this. Then. I heard, oh, by the way, when you play through the new story, you can unlock pretty much everything that exists in the previous game. And it's like, oh, well, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have, like, a limited edition cover, which was really just a slipcase anyway. Like, two different ones. I'd be even more pissed. No, I would be too. It, it's pretty fucking lame. Like, what was the point? What the hell was the point of buying the first game? And I really wonder how that's even possible because they fit so much. Like, it, it, it's a great game, and it's actually a different fighting type of fighting game than most. Especially since you can play it in RPG mode. Yeah. And it's like. Then for them to turn it, they fit so much shit on that UMD, like I swore they couldn't put anything else on it. And lo and behold, hey look, here's our new game with some new characters, basically like they did with uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which came out, you know, less than a year after the original one. And you know, hey, let's get this new game, some new characters, oh, and you can do all the old stuff. Uh, fuck you. Oh, I also, apparently, for registering, I think, the third birthday, I unlocked the Ayabri costume for one of the, for Lightning in one of the Dissidia games. Yeah. What's funny about that is, was, like I said, I heard that thing with Dissidia, so it made me rage quit the PSP, and plus third birthday was just taking fucking forever. And, like, a week or two, I think, after I sold the PSP, they announced the release date for it. I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> Well, they, that's why I said they were going to do with um, uh, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. That is, yeah. as they sold it, they were going to announce Majora's Mask 3D, and they haven't yet. <laughs> you know, though, I, I, I honestly don't see the odds of that, because the next one Miyamoto has hinted towards doing is A Link to the Past. Has he? Because the last I heard, he said he was either going to do Link to the Past or Majora's Mask 3D. See, I didn't. I, I never saw anything about Majora's Mask. See, he yeah, he said he was debating between the two, either doing a Majora's Mask 3D or doing a complete overhaul of Link to the Past. Huh? Which that made that made me nervous. Oh, it's a complete overhaul. Yeah, it could be something completely different. That being said, I you know, and I I know I'm one of the Ocarina of Timeless people, but I really feel that uh, Link to the Past is a great game. 
from a complete from a complete unobjective standpoint, from a purely gameplay and everything, Link to the Past was probably the better game. But Ocarina of Time also hits some of the nostalgia stuff for being the first 3D Zelda game and being so revolutionary and whatnot. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing with uh, Final Fantasy VII. The place it has because of what it did at the time. Uh-huh. Because you go back to that now and it's like, wow, this is blocky as shit. <laughs> this, like, this is horrible. It's like, this was good? <laughs> and then you just turn on FF8 or FF9 on the same system, it's like, yeah, okay, this is what stuff is supposed to look like. <laughs> but then, of course, you go back to, say, FF6 or FF4, and then you have a completely different question. Is 7 really as good as people think it is? That's, I've heard... I've heard people claim that Final Fantasy 4 is the best Final Fantasy game ever. It, the, the, the general consensus is 6, 7, or 4. With me being honest years later, because, you know, 7 put me on a whole big JRPG kit. But looking back now and being honest with myself, it's a really tough decision between 7 and 6. But also being honest with myself, music-wise, um, as much as I love a one-winged angel from Seven, overall the soundtrack of Six is way better. Yep. Plus, the stuff that they did at the time with the music was ahead of its time. It was ahead of its time, for sure. Okay, you're gonna have to help me out here with the. Oh, oh, oops. Sub tank. The, uh, I completely forgot. Go on the other one. And when it goes all the way to the top, you're gonna wanna slide. You're gonna wanna dash jump. Slide. That's something completely different. I don't even think that's much. Yeah, it's just help. But yeah, go back on the uh, conveyor thingy. And when it goes all the way to the top, you're going to want to pass jump to the left as far as you can, and you should land where that heart tank is. Ooh, there this guy. <laughs> okay, so that's the hard tank. Now there's supposedly a sub-tank. Sub-tank? You're supposed to freaking game-changing shit around. All right, I'll... Uh, I'll tell you another, or wait, I'll, I'll just tell you everything I know, that's, that's really the easiest way. If something changed, I apologize if this game changes stuff too much. But uh, go ahead and continue for now. The next place is a little further up. Because is there anything, there's also... There's supposed to be parts here as well, but... Yeah, isn't, I put the link to the game fact in the chat let's see Only no sticking up storm you. body <laughs> capsule storm eagle storm eagle stage beyond the blocks that need to be broken with the head upgrade well i haven't seen any head locate any head stuff yet so that must be later Alright. Sub tank! I'm gonna assume the sub tank doesn't change. I know exactly where that is. I'll lead you to the other thing and see what it is. I'm guessing they changed that one. So far I don't I don't think they've changed a lot with the sub tank and hard tanks, or at least not that I have really noticed. Yeah, you, you gotta go all the way in there. Like, there's nothing really worth getting here. That one might be, like, an actual hype or something. Um, oh no, more health. See, it's not even worth it. <laughs> well, it's worth it for me. 
I'm running a little. I was running a little low. Well, that's why you got to use your homing torpedo. <laughs> Okay, so we go here. Alright, then don't. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, it's cool. You can still get it. Oh, they're not supposed to kill that thing? No, they actually just didn't take you where you need to go, but you can still get it. You see those? Oh. Kill that thing there, and instead of going to the right, go to the left. Ah, I see. Alright, now up there, you're gonna break that and go in. There's your tank. And kill this guy for the hell of it. Pretty awesome effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's it. That was the only reason I had you do that. <laughs> <laughs> The sub tank's literally right there, but if you kill the guy, you break the glass. It, it's a requirement. Uh, of course. <laughs> For the epicness. Absolutely. Okay, now, now you keep going, and I believe right when you get done with these platforms, instead of going to, like, the top, you go towards the bottom. And we'll see what the game changes to. This is where the This is where the body parts are. Yeah, see, this is supposed to be where the head is. <laughs> ah. So you go down? Yeah, well, eventually when you get... No, yeah. I'll, I'll know it when I see it. Sir, oh, so there's, there's no platform. When you save like that, does it literally put you exactly where you saved, or just... No. Okay. It just brings you... I think it just brings you to the stage select. Great, okay. That'd be nice. It's supposed to be the sad trombone. <laughs> Interesting version of the sad trombone, but I got it. <laughs> you know, I could just pull up my sound with my phone. <laughs> oh, it'll probably take a lot longer to get to the have so many. No, I mean, it, it all goes back to that Nintendo Station post, right? I just, I, I like seeing it's... I believe the game helps tell who you are as a person. <laughs> Based on how you play it. Ooh, I got some new sounds on my sound. So it's a personality test. Like, when you watch me play Mega Man, you naturally know that I'm just like... Run and gun, I don't have any patience type of guy. <laughs> you have patience? No. Because that's how I play, like, pretty much every Mega Man game. I got a bunch of this on my soundboard. Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! No, so much health. 
torpedo! Homing torpedo! Homing torpedo! Oh, that's the other thing. I actually didn't mention it on stream. You're, you're only... They tease you with Rush. They tease you with Rush. You get that one level that reminds you of Mega Man 8, but that's it. No more Rush. Oh, yeah. No Rush Coil, no Rush Marine, no Rush Jet outside of that one stage. Wait, so how do you get in there? Um, all you have to do is keep, like, pumping the wall and also shooting while you do it. But there's not really... The, again, it's nothing really worth it. Oh, the foot part things aren't there? Or the no, body part? Go ahead and keep going. Why is that a sound? Of That's clear. Now, instead of going up there, you're gonna fall down here. Ah, yes. I think I remember this. That's a really long sound, okay. Oh yeah, then you bust these with your head. Port center, really? Inside this castle are the body parts. Into the castle and equip them, and any damage you incur will be halved. It saddens me to think that the war has begun. This part I puts the game on easy to a peaceful conclusion. <laughs> Bring it to a peaceful conclusion by killing everyone. Yeah. That's why I have respect for bands like uh, like the Megas, because you know they put lyrics to these Mega Man songs, and they come at it from like the robots' point of view, and the ones that talk about Mega Man, you know, because they even kind of. They didn't really go into it in the TV series, and it's why I like it, because I like just seeing the robots you know, get wrecked. But in the uh, the fan film in particular, it goes a lot more into like the emotions behind Mega Man, because he is supposed to you know, have human emotions in addition to being a robot. Well, so, no, see, that that's that's the, con the conflicting part. X was supposed to be the one with actual human emotions. That's why Dr. Light sealed him away, because the world wasn't ready for feeling robots. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't completely there, but it, 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 it's always, it's been mentioned. And, uh, it, it even did get mentioned briefly in the very first episode of, uh, the original series, the, the animated Mega Man TV series. And then, like I said, the fan film, it focuses less on the fights, because the fights are actually pretty terrible. But <laughs> it focuses more on, like, the Don't feelings me behind... Because, you know, Roll is pretty she much a regular robot, me. and she's built You're for what she's built for, to do which is robot. Like me, which is funny in itself, I, but anyway. Um, defeat you. Robot. You know, they talk about Mega Man, and it's all like... You know, what if this, you know, wasn't I built because of, uh, you know, such and such, like, he actually has, like, legitimate feelings. Ouch, my feelings. Sigma sent out Storm Eagle. Go, X. X, use your chameleon sting. He's actually, he's actually the only, um, boss that, before you fight him, he actually says, I'm sorry, I must defeat you. He actually feels bad about having to kill you. I actually, uh, missed where you went to him. Do, do you still go up a ladder just to end up in the same place? Um, you no, you just place. walked onto the ship and the ship flew off and... Okay, so they fixed that, because in the original game, you go down a ladder, right? And then you go up this ladder. Or... No, you go down a ladder that leads to this, like, forklift thing, and it brings you up literally back to the same spot in the ship that you just were. Part of it blows off and you fight. It's zero. Mm. Get this info to X. I've discovered Sigma's base. I'm sending the coordinates now. Zero is We've so awesome. We've located you, Zero. I'm on my way. Okay, but listen. This place is more secure than I thought. Let's split up their forces. Find another route in. 
All right, I guess that's the replacement for the uh, in-between scene, which I always forget about until I play the game. <laughs> Many times as I play it, I always forget about the in-between scene, which okay. I guess that's the replacement for it, which is cool. So... Although, was there or was there not a third person involved in that? Yes, there was. Um, Ale. From, remember? Ale? Yeah. I think it's I think it was isn't it Ale? No, it's not Ale, it's What is her name? A L I A Alia. Mm. Well, that's in like the other games. The, the, like, yeah, game. that that's that's a different one. They didn't have no other bitch in this game. They threw her in. <laughs> well yeah, I know, but she they threw they put her in um because she was in the other Mega, the later Mega Man games, the Mega Man right. X games. I'm trying to think what her name. What is her name? There wasn't a real like Reploid army, so to say, until like X4. Possibly earlier. I got X2 and X3 slipped me. There was kind of an army in X2. Axel. Oh. Is it Iris? Is Iris or Alia? The girl in here? It's gotta be Alia. I think but so. But then again, that's so weird. Neither one belongs in this game, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, X had to be communicating with somebody. If, if I had to guess, it would be Alia, because she's the one who's kind of, you know, mission briefing girl. And annoying tutorial bitch at the beginning of every goddamn level of X5. <laughs> I'm beginning the mission. Huh. Do we get to meet Zero, or no, we just get death? Oh, well, you meet him, but at that point, you know, he's already, uh... You remember this, don't you? Yes. I have gotten to this part in the game. Number four. Forget which game it is, whether it's X2 or X3, but you gotta hunt for Zero's parts, you know? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it like Free Gildum or whatever? So, whichever game is next technically shouldn't exist unless you actually did that. <laughs> hunt for Zero's parts. That wasn't X2, was it? I thought that was 3. I think it was three. It was one of the two. I think it was three. Not you again. <sighs> ah! Stupid frickin' That's new. Or different. Because that thing wasn't... That thing doesn't exist at all on this stage. They changed this one around a lot. Amazing, I played this, but it's like it's a whole new game to me. <laughs> it kinda is. I wanna play that Mega Man X game um, when you get zero saber. When you get his saber as X? Yeah. Uh, that would be that would be known as the X game that Capcom says I don't give a fuck what the father <laughs> Mega Man says was put out in. Yes, I always thought that was cool that you got Zero Saber because Zero was always the coolest character in the game anyway. That game also shouldn't exist. 
Well, is a lot it, of games that shouldn't exist. Yeah, well, there is no reason for X6 to exist. Well, is it End a... X5 pulled through both of their chests. They are dead. Game over. Yes, but is it a bad game? Sure, it, it, it breaks the continuity or whatever, but is it a bad game? That depends on who you ask. Like, a lot of people swear that it was, like, terrible. And I don't think it was terrible. I don't think it was good as, as good as X5 or X4. But what did come with X6 was higher difficulty out of nowhere. But I found X4 and X5 to be pretty easy, and then you get to X6 and it's like, wow, this game is kicking my ass. I thought that with X2. X2 and X3 are pretty up there too, in comparison to X. X is like easy in comparison to the other two. Yeah, because I had a much I had a much easier time um, getting through X than I when I when I finally did play X2. It seemed a lot harder than X. See, it's stupid too. I mean, the, the reason the two games are worth what they are is because they have this built-in chip that like enhances like uh, the sound slash graphics. It's kind of like Capcom's equipment, the uh, yeah, equipment. Capcom's equivalent of the FX chip that they use for Star Fox. Oh, and uh, and the uh, and in Kirby, um, they they use that same chip or something in Kirby Dreamland Three, I think. Yeah, I know. I know everybody has like, I guess there's like a different version of each, but yeah, it's it's something like that for X2 and X3, and that's why they're so, you know... That's why it has this little 3D X that flies around and... Right, right. Oh man, this is rough. <laughs> that's stupid, yeah, that's I'd stupid say so. Thick. That thing does not even exist in the original X. That's why I said they made it easier in places and harder in others. Like that um, green robot that you fight in Chameleon stage. Mm -hmm. um, on the original, does it actually give you any any indication when you hit it in the head that you're actually damaging it? No, not until it's like almost dead and puffs of smoke start to come out from it. Okay, yeah, because it was like I would be shooting it into the head and it would just be bouncing off. Oh, you mean like an act, like a difference in sound? Yes. Yes. When in this game it doesn't? I'm pretty sure it didn't. Uh, there. You know, I seem to have faint memories of this same thing. I'm getting the mission. No shit. <laughs> I think the only way it could get any worse is if after he beat the Robot Master, he's all like, or excuse me, uh, Maverick, you know, he's all like, YAY! I WON! <laughs> okay. Here's the giant robot. Hiya. He actually talks. Yeah. The hell he ever did that? Huh. See now now we starting to spark a little bit. But it's like there's no indication I'm actually doing damage. It actually does stuff. And dies a lot quicker apparently. Oh, the first time he didn't die as fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. Uh, now you have to play. Now you have to play the victory theme. And that is specifically the FF7 one. Yep, it's just the one only one on the soundboard. Gotcha. I have a bunch of those old soundboards. Um, backed up on my phone because they were taking up too much space. But I, 
I I have all I have like five. Well, because I know I sort of know the guy that did made all these Android soundboards. Mm -hmm. So I have like he has like five Sonic soundboards. Nice. Um, four Mario ones, a bunch of Zelda one, um, some NES Fantasy one. That's cool. So I have all those just saved in case I ever want to mess with them again. He needs an Unreal Tournament one. Huh. The Unreal Tournament announcer is epic. I think he's somewhere in this one. Uh, let me see. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I found the soundboard with, like, all of them. Some of them are slightly different than I remember, but it has, like, pretty much everything set in the game. And it also has the, uh, the sexy announcer. Interesting. There's a few Mario ones in here. A few Metal Gear ones. And the sexy announcer is exactly what you'd think it would be. Oh, yeah? Like, it's... It, it's, like, over the top, too. It's ridiculous. Well, it doesn't get more sexy than this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Mudkip. Okay. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Third gen Pokemon. Oh. Well, that explains it. <laughs> There's a sexy announcer. Oh, here's one. So, for example, if you get five kills in a row... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay. Mega kill. Mega oh. kill. That, okay, that's... <laughs> that's not... uncomfortable at all. <laughs> nope. It's all, everything the Unreal Tournament announcer says, except with her. <laughs> uh, that's kind of awesome. Mm -hmm. it, it, it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. But... She sounds kind of like a sexier version of the announcer from Team Fortress 2. Indeed. Uh, you start to really start racking, like, multi-kills and, like, all sorts of crazy shit or killing people at the same time. Like, it, it, it gets nuts. <laughs> like, basically, the better you do, the better she does. <laughs> wow. Falcon Pro, you bitches. What? I want them to make multiple accounts. Oh, yes, I know. I mean... Uh, okay, so now I want to see if I hit continue. I think it just brings me to the title screen. Or the stage selection. Yep.
So yeah, when you beat the game as X, you unlock Mega Vile Man. Mode Man. and you un unlock the anime intro movie, which is actually yep. kind of awesome. Yeah, it is. I wish they'd make a whole movie out of it. Yeah. Have you, either of you, seen the opening thing to Mega Man X Command Mission? No. I have not. Okay. I may have to pop that in because it is also kind of awesome. Sounds good. Because I actually really, really liked that game. Um, it just, <laughs> once you've played it, and years later, it is really hard to go back to that gameplay <laughs> of wandering down endless hallways, and randomly encountering enemies again and again and again and again and again. And having to do a turn-based battle for each and every one of them. Okay. What system do I have that on anyway? Ah, I do have the PS2 one. I originally had it for the GameCube. You, while you boot that up, I will be right back. Oops. Wait, what? Shit. Alright, does the job tomorrow. Oops. I think I may try porting all the PlayStation X games either to my phone or to my PSP. Sounds cool. Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. I'm They released Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins on the PSP? They did? I must investigate this. Um, let's see. Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. Huh. I may have to put that on my PSP now. I swear, I, and I downloaded this um, mega pack of PSP ISOs, and I think it has almost all of them. That's cool. Crazy shit. Now I'm just trying, I'm slowly trying to collect all the actual UMDs for all of them now. But some of them are still rather expensive. Yeah. UMDs are so stupid. <laughs> I know, that's, it's like, <laughs> I buy the UMDs, I put them on my PSP, I rip them to the computer and then I have to put them on the memory card. Indeed. Because I absolutely hate those thick freaking things. They're pretty lame. And I've gotten some at like GameStop, and it's amazing how fragile those things are. I've bought like two or three that have been split open. Wow. Yeah, so a couple of them I was barely able to rip the ISO. By kind of 
and kept having to retry it and trying to pop the case in and some of them it just they just wouldn't rip at all it would like get part way through and then it would just stop okay so let's quick check out command mission and then i think i'm going to go to bed Indeed. Close all this stuff down because I should be doing Twitter slash bed myself soon. Oh, that would have been stupid. I wouldn't see the hangout. <laughs> what did you do? I was closing a whole bunch of shiz. Like, huh? I shut down my computer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> uh... ADX. This is, this is like the first time I saw a real CG Mega Man. And it was actually kind of cool because it kind of shows sort of their teleporting abilities. You know, they always teleport in and out of stages. Mm. This, this actually does take, takes it a little further and actually has these little um, spider pads. See, so we have three spider pads. Now we have three pods that are charging. Now oh, this is the part that was really cool. Huh. Okay, maybe it was... Oh yeah, it's, it's during this. He has a lot of hair. Gotta have Axel. Asshole? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but a bunch of new guys. He's annoying. He's dumb. Also, X looks completely different. Yeah, he does. Now he's standing on the spider pad. He's Boy. being Spider Man. <laughs> spider Man! Infiltrate Giga City and halt the activities of Epsilon's organization, the Rebellion. I'm afraid the team that went in before you has likely perished. You are our final hope. If you fail this mission, then we, we will have no choice but to launch an indiscriminate assault on Giga City. What about Terra City? The whereabouts of Epsilon are <laughs> unknown. But, we're getting an energy reading from a certain area of ruins. Survey the ruins first. Access. Where's asshole? He's not with you? 
No, he doesn't show up till later. Uh. Oh, look, he's got a smartwatch. <laughs> I can't believe they sent only the three of us to infiltrate this huge island. I mean, we're good, but I don't know if we're that good. A large force would be cumbersome. Keep things small and sleek, huh? I'm no great hunter like you two. But believe me, I know this island's layout. Well, we're in your hands, Shadow. Okay, let's move. I know the perfect place for a hideout. Are you two okay? X, use those stairs. No, meet no. Up top. <laughs> no, but not stairs. the stairs. <laughs> Be careful. It's a trap. Finders keepers for any goodies. Was that zero? Yes. Ugh. A non... Not cocky zero and... A cheesy line like that. I don't know about this. <laughs> also... <laughs> Also, I have no idea what's with this flame tail, this flame trail. Oh, look, random battle. With a bat. Oh, zoo bats. <laughs> You're in a cave, it makes sense. I did it. I did it. Oh, man. This is the final fantasy of Mega Man X. Holy shit. Also, you, you hear that those footsteps, you hear that in your sleep. <laughs> and you have the doors opening. Also, I cannot see a thing. Oops, wrong button. Oh yeah, I have a I have a dash. I have a dash, but there's no platforming. Right. So it's like why? Observe. That's that's a great attack, guys. Bad Bone was angered by the defeat of an ally. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to use my... Charge shot. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, I did it! <laughs> well, wh whoever, I think it's whoever beats the last um, baddie, they're the ones who get to say the victory line. Right, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it is, it's pretty funny. I did it! Uh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, where you you also get um a bunch of you can get these different um super form basically you you get like these hyper modes that you can unlock later and that's where are they X. No, I don't want Wikipedia. I want...
Why can't I look at these? This is the super secret hyper mode for zero. Is that that, uh... The bat zero. Absolute zero? Yeah. Huh. So it's a cross between zero and shade man. Got it. Pretty much. And it does ridiculous amounts of damage. It's really strange. Zero becomes Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Mega Man's super secret um, hyper mode form. Okay, yeah, ultimate armor. The X's ultimate armor was in the other X games. Ultimate X, yeah. I completely forgot about that. It just looks nothing like the version they have in Command Mission. Oh yeah, this is where was it? Where'd it go? X Fire. That's the one. That's the one you get before. That's his default hyper version. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. He gets like a claw instead of a buster or something. That's weird. But then if you go find the super secret one, then you get the one where the ultimate armor where he basically straps two giant assault rifles to his arms. And you get like a, a tank thing attached to his back. Like a giant pod. Yeah, sometime I'd, it'd be interesting to live stream um, Command Mission. <laughs> it, says, it basically is the Final Fantasy of Mega Man X. It sure looks that way. <laughs> yeah. But it, it is a freaking long game. Maybe after I finish um, doing Maverick Hunter, we'll do Command Mission. <laughs> 